Stop trying to apply physics to heaven. It doesn't work because it is not a vacuum, it is just not a place until men try to go there, and then it becomes a bottomless pit. Stop denying reality. Many of you turn your blind eyes away from any of this information out of willing fool ignorance. The fact of the matter is that we live on earth, where we breathe air. This air is the thickest down on the ground where we live. The repeatable observation anyone who has ever climbed a mountain has made is that the air gets thinner with elevation, and at some elevation, there is essentially no more air. We don't need a container to separate the heavens from the earth do we? Enoch said that the air was where the earth is, and above the earth is a dark hanging sea, an abyss, outer darkness. So stop denying reality. Space is not a vacuum. It is darkness. Why do the astronauts continuously for 20 years now live in a state of freefall? It is because they have been given the key to the abyss, and now they think there is a solar system for them to build cities and kingdoms in. They think God's throne is their free real estate. Stop thinking that men on the earth are lying about these things. That is dumb now. Men on earth believe these things, and have been defiled and deceived by seven wandering stars, planets, drawing down to themselves the hearts of men. The fallen angels that came down in Genesis 6 are bound in the darkness upon the face of the deep. The astronauts have found the sides of the pit, and are being deceived by devils that are bound there. I don't want to sound arrogant or offensive, but I have to say to everyone that doesn't realize these things how tragic it will be for those who believe in the solar system and that whole endeavor, space exploration, etc. It is my responsibility to state that all of these things that are happening are written in the Bible and other books that the prophets of God wrote. The people in this world are in a battle against the Son of God, and those who are with Him. We are with Him. This is not a battle against your fellow man, and it seems like nobody believes the word of God and thinks that it is just plain wrong when it says that we are not fighting against each other, but rather a higher power that resides in the heavens, in the darkness of the night, under chains, and bound until judgment. Well, it is written that at the end, the world would be deceived into going into that darkness and loosing those prisoners that are bound there, but the saints are overcome and deceived until Jesus comes. Jesus is flying with the clouds of heaven, because he needs to utter his voice because he is long-suffering and loves everyone in this world.